Good morning. I'd like to welcome you to the Lord's house on this, uh, well, it was sunny when we came over, but uh, it's, I noticed when I was coming up from out back, it's raining now, and probably in 10 minutes it'll be sunny again, so it's one of those unsettled days, I guess is the best way to put it, but it's still the day that the Lord has made. He's gathered us here together. Uh, we're going to begin worshiping Him in just a few moments, but uh, there are a number of of announcements that I want to share um, and so I will uh, actually I'm not going to be the one sharing all of the announcements I know this morning there's a couple of them that uh, a couple of people here will be will be sharing um, but as we look into our bulletin and we look at uh, the weeks ahead and, and what's going on you can just kind of read down through uh, nothing really out of the ordinary uh, within the next couple of weeks anyway, other than school beginning, and that's not really out of the ordinary, although it feels that way in 2020. Uh, but Wednesday, we'll have our prayer meeting at 6 o'clock, and um, uh, kind of, uh, you know, the rest of our, our week will be as normal as it's been over the last few months. Um, but couple of things. Today we're going to have a, 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 a special feature and I'm, I'm actually going to let Cheryl kind of share a little bit about it because she's also going to explain about, did you bring the piece of paper or did you not print those? Yep. Just so that they know what will be in the bulletin next week. Okay, if you were following along on Facebook, you already know about Carol's idea about Get to Know Me, and she was asking that people would share either a video or a written thing with people so that they, because it felt like when we were stuck in our homes and only watching online, that we just didn't know each other anymore. It, so much was happening in each other's lives and we didn't know any of it. Well, Carol did hers. Hey, her idea is great. <laughs> um, none of the rest of us have yet. I started mine, but that's the best I can say. And she has hers ready to share. And she's setting the bar high, I'll tell you right now, because she did it on video. So, um, I have to apologize though. She gave it to me, I believe, back in June, maybe even May. And I won't make apologies, let's just say life is crazy and I forgot. I just found it, it was on my school computer, and I'm pretty ready for school to tell you that. So, this is Carol. And she's not going to look at you while this goes. <laughs> this is a challenge. I don't like speaking in front of people. And um, as you can see, I'm in my pajamas and already forgetting it's only like 6 30 ish. I've um, been working in the attic for two and a half days and have only gotten a quarter of it done. That's how much stuff there is. Um, I am taping this to get to know me better, um, to send into the church, and um, a few things about myself. I retired, it would be two years in July, but I went back to work in January on a special project that was supposed to last until April 15th, but on March 15th I was given a choice to get done or to stay. And I chose to get done because at that time I was receiving a lot of paperwork that I was dealing with from New York. And people were saying they didn't know if the virus was on it and how long it was lasting. And I just, it just was too much unknown. So I have been home. Um, I moved to Ashland in 83 when I started coming to the church, the Ashland Adam Christian Church. I was impressed with the church. Um, preaching and reading directly from the Bible, and I could use my own Bible and and um, see where everybody was at and where they were coming from, and, and it was um, very good. I learned a lot. Um, I learned a lot. I have a lot more to learn. Um, I grew up in the Catholic Church, and I had four children. I met Frank, Stephen was six, Aaron was two, and then we had Amanda and Jesse. Uh, Stephen just moved to Pennsylvania, and um, his wife is in Texas. Not sure how they're gonna work out the long distance there. Uh, Aaron has moved back in with us. He's been with us for a few years now, trying to get on disability. 
who has a lot of health issues. Um, Nanda and her husband live in Thomaston, where they have 12 domino stores and are very busy. And they have Skyler, who's a senior, and Cameron, that's a sophomore, and Swayze, six, and they're fostering twin boys that are gonna be turning three in another week. And um, not too far from them, maybe 20 minutes, is Jesse and his wife, Lucy, and they have a baby, Elijah, and Jesse has two stepchildren, and that would be Grace and Wilder, and um, 15 and 13. Um, trying to think of what else I want to tell you. I've got a new kitty. His name is Sherm, and he's been a blessing to us. Uh, he's really bonded with Frank and Aaron and myself, and he's um, been a lot of fun. Um, things that you might not know is that my mother graduated from Ashland and uh, was a classmate of Edna Ellis. And Edna was a mentor to me and uh, still is. I talked with her often. Um, and something you might not know, I grew up in Mapleton on a potato farm. And my dad's first year in college at the University of Maine, he roomed with Mac Ellis. And uh, Mac is a couple of years older than my dad, so he'd have been a sophomore or junior at that time. Um, we love it here in Ashland, and I don't know what else to say at the moment, so I'll close for now. Thanks. And you can't have these this week because I just printed them last night, but they'll be a little get to know me. Her, it was so good that I just used her ideas as some questions that you can fill out to help you if you really would like to share with us. And we'd really appreciate it if you would. We'll try to do these once a month, the last Sunday of the month. The same Sunday we do birthdays. Yes. Yes. Um, thank you. And I don't know how much of that actually is going to go over the, the video, but we'll... It probably won't. It probably won't, but that's okay. I know we didn't... We didn't they'll hear it if they hear it, but we didn't I intentionally guess. move it, so... Um, but, yeah, there's a, there's a thing... Our hope is that everybody will get on board with this and want to do it, and, and um, some of you are not going to want to try to figure out how to videotape yourselves or, or have someone videotape you, uh, and you may want to just write something out and either come up and read it or read it from where you're sitting or have someone else read it or something. Uh, but the whole idea, I think it's a great idea for us. I'm sure that there are things with all of us that we don't know about each other. As many years as we've been together, I just believe that that's, that's true. And so uh, I thought it was a, a great idea when, when Carol brought it up. And um, sorry we, we, we took so long implementing it, but uh, that's going to be something ongoing that we're going we're gonna to continue to have. Uh, so be praying about that and thinking about whether or not that's something you want to do. Um, or when, more, maybe more to the point, when will you do it, not if you will do it. Um, also, today is um, Marilyn Chase's birthday, and Mary, I know, has been c touching base with some of you already this morning. She um, called me yesterday, said she was going to bring a number of cards um, to give to people to, to sign and, and, um, and take, take to her. Um, Mary, did you also want to share a little bit about the, about the drive through thing that you were thinking about? Yeah, I'm sure there's some in my office in the bag, so. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, 
I know this is a uh, longer than normal time. We have one more piece that I haven't done before we, before we jump into our call to worship and things, and that is uh, birthdays. How many of you have celebrated uh, a birthday in the month of August? Milton did. <clears throat> well, normally we would be singing right now to you, Milton. But you'll have to wait till we go outside and, and be praying because the weather needs to be dry when we go outside. Although we can go out and sing happy birthday even if it's wet. Um, we just may not. He, Gail. Bart, Bart, Gail. Gail, birthday. Gail had a birthday too. You had a birthday gift? <laughs> well, nobody raised their hand, so it was hard for me to know exactly, exactly who they were. So I apologize for missing you. you. We could, if everybody, and, and the ones that are out back, it probably won't matter anyway. But that's true. If nobody's in front of you, it doesn't really matter, does it? I'll even put mine on if I can. I haven't tried doing this before, so pardon the noise. Nope. I'll just do it this way. I'll just do it this way. Uh, let's see if I hit the right note. Happy birthday to you, the Lord died for you, when you trust him as to his you have the second birthday too. Now I know why we put the words up on the wall. <laughs> well, happy birthday to you guys. And to many who might be watching on the video who were, were not sitting here. So, um, so our call to worship is Psalm 150, verses 1 and 2, out of the New Living Translation. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heaven. Praise Him for His mighty works. Praise his unequaled greatness. Let's bow together. Father, as we're here gathered together, we do think of how great you are. And Lord, at this um, crazy time that we're living through, it's been comforting over the weeks to be reminded again and again and again that you're still on your throne, that you're still in control, that you still are great and powerful and mighty. And Father, we pray as we're gathered here this morning that the spirit that is in this place would fill us, would comfort us, would prepare our hearts to hear your message, would uh, just guide us through our time together. Father, we pray that, uh, that all that we say, that all that we do would bring glory and honor to your name. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 